my name is uh, Assam Shahat. I'm a mechanical engineer at American University of Charger. Uh, I'm still a student, so I, I guess like, I'm the youngest one over here. Uh, Hi, my name is Sujad. I'm a technology entrepreneur. And my primary expertise is in software development. Uh, we're excited to tell you about our little project that we've been working on okay. in the past two days. Okay, so I'll start with the hardware part. So the whole point of uh, this project is uh, we're getting a very simple equipment, such as a microscope, a USB microscope, that can uh, anyone can get it. It's not that uh, sophisticated. It, you don't need a lab for it. You don't need a medical degree to use it. What we did is we worked on enhancing it. So uh, first of all, we worked on the lighting system. So we totally, like, it comes with LEDs from the top. Uh, so we totally eliminated this one and we added uh, LEDs from the bottom where we can control the intensity and uh, the light, uh, the color and the intensity of the light itself depending on what we need exactly, what specimen are we testing. Uh, after that we worked on uh, creating a, a diffuser uh, to spread off uh, the light to ease it up from the sharpness so that we can get better images on the computer. So the whole purpose is we're going to be testing uh, samples, blood samples. Uh, uh, directly, so you just put a, sl a slide, a blood sample, and then it goes to the computer, and then it gets processed, which th this is the part he's going to be talking about, where uh, the computer tells you directly if you have uh, uh, leukemia, if you have uh, low iron deficiency, uh, if you have sickle cell anemia, such things that the computer will tell you directly with without the need of a doctor. So, so can you explain to us the colors? What yeah, the sure. Color? Um, I'll be happy to tell you. I mean, one of the most exciting things is, you know, we're using a $20 microscope to do something as sophisticated that, you know, uh, lab professionals use thousands of dollars on. So, uh, so we basically take the imaging to the computer, and this is what we see. I don't know if you see it very clearly. So those little dots that you see, those not the darker ones, the lighter ones, uh, those are your red blood cells. I mean, if, if those are little cells that flow through everybody. Um, and that feed is coming in from that microscope. But what's different about this case is that uh, these little darker spots you see, so unfortunately in this case, a person has cancer. So, so cancer cells are these darker dots that, that happen. Um, so right now we're just taking a live feed from the microscope. But um, what we're trying to do over the, the course of this weekend is to think about uh, a smart algorithm where you, know, you can just put that feed in through your microscope and the algorithm is going to pick it up. Like This is a cancerous uh, uh, feed, uh, cancerous feed from a person's uh, blood sample. Uh, and then there are other scenarios, like somebody who has sickle cell anemia, uh, they're not going to be circles, they're going to be you know, deformed in shape. So there are interesting things we can find just with a $20 microscope, so it's really exciting that we can hack this up in such a short period of time. And how long will it take you to know the results after? Right away, right away. Right right away. I mean, we're building right the software to be able to give us that ability where, you know, you just set this thing up in you know, a little bit of time and then the software tells you, like, what could possibly be going on. What do you think of the workshop so far? Oh, it's entertaining. Meeting a lot of fantastic. interesting people. Yeah, it's meeting wonderful. Tons of people. I mean, it was good to meet you as well. Exactly. So like, I think it's the people, the content, the, There's a lot the of facilitators. Uh, they've done really well. So really glad to be part of it. This is a great idea, guys. Thank good you luck. So much. Thank you.